Sometimes you need to change a piece of code, but you don't want to commit this code yet. In this video, we're gonna see how we can do it with partial commit on IntelliJ or any JetBrains IDE. So let's imagine we have two files, one rectangle and one circle. And for both of these uh, classes, we want to implement the perimeter method. So let's implement that. So for the rectangle and for the circle. Now we have both implementation. What we want is maybe test this parameter function. So we can create a simple square of length one and log the parameter. Let's verify that. We have a length of a parameter of four. So it works. Let's do it for the circle as well. Here. Let's run that. More than 125. So both of uh, this implementation works. So now we, we, what we would like is to commit only the perimeter uh, method from the rectangle. What we can do is using the commit uh, the commit window we can to commit only the, the rectangle uh, parameter method we can start by unchecking the circle file here and in the rectangle file we we don't want also to con to commit the console log so what we can do is uncheck this line and now we're gonna commit only the perimeter method if we commit we see that the console log from the rectangle file is still there and the circle uh, file has not been committed. Another way to do it is in the version control panel, you can create a new change list. Let's call it circle. And you can move the circle file into the new change list. See, on the circle classes, you have like empty marker now saying that those modifications are not part of the active change list. In the rectangle file, if we want to move this console log uh, line into another change list, another way to do it is clicking on the left side here and move it to a new change list. We can call it, for example, debug. Now, when we try to commit in the commit window, we will have only the perimeter method proposed to commit. Let's commit that. You can also do it while you're editing your code. In this example, we have the perimeter method already uh, complete. What you can do is create a new change list. Let's call it circle and set it active. While doing so, you will have the perimeter uh, method from the rectangle now disabled, and we can implement the circle one. We can also add the console log as before. So now when we want to commit, we will have only the circle uh, changes propose. If you want to commit the rectangle changes, you can change the change list here and commit only the rectangle changes.